Hi guys, it's your girl Virgo Moon Insights and I'm back with another video for the collective. I figured that um, yesterday I did some love readings for you guys. Uh, hopefully you've got a chance to check those videos out. I am today back with a more general reading. I just really wanted to see the energies that I pick up on for you guys. Because I did a reading for Pisces yesterday and it was, I feel like it's been a long time since I've been channeling energies in that capacity or even at that level, which was not a very high level for myself. But it kind of made me feel like, oh wow, I definitely miss doing this. So um, I'd like to see if I can get like a better reading for you guys on um, your overall energies, just like your health, your wealth, your abundance, your life, um, your romantic life. I like to make it as general as possible because the more personal that it gets, doesn't really serve either of us because this is a collective message right so i just want to tell you guys that i am doing the halloween vigil for the ancestors and i'm also doing the 30 day novena for the archangel michael we're gonna be using the saint michael chaplet for that i'm gonna leave every thing and all my details and information in the description box for you guys um, keep in mind, I am also uh, offering psychic readings on Keen as well as tarot readings on Keen. You can find them there uh, under Virgo Moon Insights. You can find me on Instagram under Virgo Moon Insights as well as Facebook. Wasn't that crazy yesterday? Like, wasn't that crazy? Was it yesterday? I don't know. Whatever day it was. Whatever day it was, um, everything kind of shut down. Facebook shut down, um, Instagram shut down. And, oh, I feel like my boobs are up. <laughs> um, yeah, everything shut down. It was so interesting. I was like, I can't log into Facebook. I can't log into Instagram. I can't figure this out. What's going on? Okay, let's do this. I'm going to pull from my Oracle deck for you guys. Like I said, just to get the... Oop. Sorry. Wrong deck. Mm -hmm. This one is a little too... <laughs> <laughs> advanced for the general reader. And this is my personal oracle deck. So. Let's get out. I know I put it in like a plastic container, right? Because I'm like, how, how best to preserve these? Like, how best to preserve these? Yeah, and I'll just leave all my information in the, the description box for you guys. Like I said, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, click the bell notification so you can know when I'm releasing a new video. I will eventually be only making weekly readings for you guys. So um, please enjoy these while they last, these daily reads, because it's going to be a while before I can do them again. Okay. Um, what else? Yeah, check me out on Keen. Virgo Moon Insights. Let's dig into this. Surrender to the divine. There is power in the present moment. The sun is just a cloud away. 
The problem is the enemy. Never forget that. Moon magic. Life is a cycle of life, death, and rebirth or renewal. Taltos, Supernatural Being by Anne Rice. Sexual Dysfunction. We've got Peter Pan. Know Thyself. Self-Doubt and Self-Care. Whoa. So collective, from this mashup of cards that we've pulled, um... I feel like in the present moment, some of you are dealing with some really heavy um, emotions. I'm getting very dark night of the soul. We will be pulling some cards from the tarot to clarify. I'm going to be using the Hermetic Tarot, but I just want to really delve deep into these emotions and these messages, these energies. Sorry for my grumbling, bumbling stomach. I always get up early and then do go straight into these readings for you guys. Like Sometimes I'm up as early as 6 to do these readings and... Um, it's like the first thing that I do. I like really want to give you guys the best reading I possibly can. And I know that the sooner I get to it, the better it'll be, right? Excuse me. I've been having one thing that I've noticed. Because normally, I'm not the type to like burp all like that. <laughs> But I've been having these, like, I don't know if it's a spiritual belch. I don't know what it's called. But I feel like just channeling these energies is, like, it's a lot. So, in the present moment, I'm getting definitely very dark night of the soul. With the moon magic here, I'm getting someone who's... I don't want to say someone who's staying up all night, but that's exactly what they're doing. And I do mean all night. And they're stuck in this, like, tower moment. So some of you could be dealing with some unexpected news. I do not see Eureka here, but it's like, maybe, like, someone has just passed away, um, or... This is reminding me of grief, like I'm, I'm getting that some of you, and I apologize if you're experiencing this, some of you are experiencing actual physical death of someone that you love at the moment, at the present moment. And you're wondering if you can communicate with this person. If if there's a way that you can contact this person. And you're wondering about exactly where did they go? How are they where they're at? Who's with them? Can I see them? Will I ever see them again? Will I ever know them again? And, and the state in which they were. And the form in, that they took. Will I ever be able to experience them in that way again? And you're not sleeping because you're staying up at night and you're not 
first of all, with the self the sexual dysfunction and the self doubt and self care, I'm getting someone who's checked out of life, who's really so this this death, this energy that I'm channeling, this death is um pretty hard for you to handle. And with the problem is the enemy, never forget that. I am getting like you're you're blaming yourself. I'm getting that you're blaming yourself and give me just a second. I'm getting that you're blaming yourself and you're thinking that quite possibly um there was something that you could do or something that you could have said or maybe you could have seen this coming with the moon magic here and there was no way for you to know. There was no way for you to predict exactly when this would occur. I see that it was a very close relationship, a very close relationship. Like we all have soulmates in our lives and those soulmates aren't necessarily romantic partnerships or relationships with um, this with this uh, Know Thyself here, I see that it was a very close partnership, a very close sacred bond. Whether that's with a parent, a child, a loved one, right? A pet. I'm also getting pet with Taltos and Moon Magic. Like a very close friendship. Like brethren fraternity you know type of environment um, relationship and you're just like you're really going through it and my advice is to take it one day at a time one step at a time so do things like taking care of yourself with the self-care here cry it out it gets better and with the self-doubt you can do this so sometimes i write these messages on the back of these um oracle cards just just to get like not to get a clearer message but to give you just some advice and what i'm feeling right now is someone needs to hear this because they're experiencing a death and they really don't know how to handle that death in their life right now because this was someone that you were very close to, someone that you loved, someone that, you know, meant so much to you and it was that person was a big part of your life or your pet was a big part of your life. And You really just don't know how to go on at this point. But remember, when you take baby steps and when you go one step at a time with, and, you know, with those baby steps, um, eventually you start to notice the sun, right? Because right now it's just so dark, right? It's just so, like, scary. It's it, You're in a place where you're just feeling heavy, heavy grief. Heavy grief and sorrow and you feel like you have no one to turn to and you feel like this was the person you would normally turn to but it's almost like impossible to reach out to other people because you feel like no one will understand Especially if this was a pet, you feel like no one will really truly understand what this pet meant, what your pet, what your loved one, I'm going to say loved one because pets are loved ones too, right? What your loved one meant to you. So there's an imbalance here. Um, because you kind of like, you checked out of life, you checked out of living in the present moment, living in grace, 
and surrendering to the divine tells me that you need to give it up, right? No one can tell you how long you can grieve. No one can tell you how deep your love goes. But when I say give it up, I mean like give it to God or give it to a higher power, give it to the Holy Spirit. So for those of you who are experiencing a death right now, I truly, I empathize with you. I really understand where you're coming from. And, you know, I know I come on here every day and I'm smiling and I'm laughing and I'm joking and I'm making videos. But I'm, I'm my brother just recently passed away. Um, and, you know, my the way that I've been handling it is to do some self-care to really just um mourn him by living life to the ultimate right to the fullest and pursuing my goals and my dreams it was like the moment that he passed away i kind of like i checked out for like i checked out like really checked out and i was like this is the perfect time to do something different. And that was when I really decided that I was going to do this, you know, that I would be reading for you guys, that I would be um, channeling energies for you guys and that I would honor my, my gifts and my talents and my skills. It was really like in remembrance of my brother that I, I haven't been really living fully to begin with. And when he passed away, it was, it was a wake up call. So that's how I processed his death. I'm not recommending that for everybody. Um, like I said, we, nobody can tell you how long your grieving cycle should be or could be. But, um, if that helps some of you, great. And I see that you're experiencing some blockages, some blocked energy because of this. Like, obviously, especially since you're not sleeping and with the sexual dysfunction, meaning you're not even, you're not doing basic things. You're not even, some of you may not even be bathing. Like, you can't even get out of bed, right? You can't. It's just so hard for you at this moment in time to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Even though you know the sun comes out tomorrow, it, it's just it's just not easy. And nobody is expecting you to for it to be easy or for you to just get back to life or for you to just do whatever it is. that would constitute living life, right? Let me pull one more. So life may change for you and the way that you live it as a result of this death. Like with my experience and my brother's passing, it's like you're going through a transition. You're going through a phase in which you're reevaluating what life has meant to you and what you want life to mean. Right. In honor or in remembrance of this person. Or this loved one. And when I started this reading, I, I had no idea this was the energy that I would be channeling. I never know what energies I'm going to be channeling. And that, that's honest. That is honest to goodness. Um truth i don't set out to do a specific reading as you see i come on here and i'm like um i don't know what readings i'm gonna do for you guys or like i just pick up on general messages so um yesterday was probably one of the first times that i decided i was gonna do a love reading after being led to do so but sometimes I, i'm led to do things and i'm like nah, that's not gonna work for me 
it's not gonna work for me and so I, uh, I'm disobedient in that way but I'm, I'm happy that I was I listened to my spirit and gave you guys those love readings because it opened up the door for this which is exactly what I actually do this is what I do I help others who are going through transitions and experiencing these moments these dark nights of the soul this this is what I do um so I'm happy to be giving you this message and I'm happy to be seeing you you know some sometimes when we're going through these things we don't have people who see us in that moment who really understand where we're who we are in that present moment because we're some you know some of us are constantly living in the past and some of us are constantly living in the future so sometimes people will come to you especially when you're grieving and like I said, nobody can tell you when it's been enough, when when your grieving process is done. But sometimes people will tell you, you know, um, tomorrow will get better. Kind of like what I said with the sun will come out. And But in this present moment, I see you. I see your pain. I feel your pain. And I understand your pain. And I understand the blockages that you're experiencing. And so I'm just asking you to, now I don't want to make this sound like um, I'm saying that you're not clean or you, you know, but, but get up out of bed, you know, take your bath, um, remember who you are, look at yourself in the mirror, <clears throat> give yourself some positive affirmations and, you know, release that pain that's in your heart Un unbind yourself you know so that you can create again so that you can feel life again forgive yourself forgive others um speak into existence you know what you want to see there's some positive thinking here so just sh shift your perspective in the present moment though know that you are a good person you are a good person and the person or the 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 loved one that you've lost matters you matter they matter right so you have every right to grieve them when after you've you've gotten up right after you've finally been able to get up out of bed or change your clothes to wash your body healing starts in the heart and that's where i'm feeling the blockages that you're experiencing right in your heart chakra and in your solar plexus so this could have been a child for someone like your pet can be your child too this is making me want to cry I'm sorry if I do. I'm I'm not I'm I'm not the listen, I always say this. I, I really I'm not the vulnerable person that sits and cries in front of others, but I really, really feel your pain. I really feel your pain. I'm getting I'm getting I'm getting a violent death. Caused by some sort of conflict. And I feel like you got some kind of intuitive message and that's why you're blaming yourself. Like you got a feeling with the moon and air magic, water magic, heart magic. I feel like you got some kind of feeling I, I, I kind of remember like the don't go chasing waterfalls video that's, that's prominent in my mind when the young gentleman his mother is telling him no don't go out no don't do this no don't do that and then you know what happens in the video I'm getting that strongly here but I'm also getting someone who passed away because it was time. 
And even if it was time, even if it was old age, this person was very much loved. I am getting someone who also passed away because of illness of some sort. But I, do, I am getting some sort of piercing of the flesh. I don't know whose energy this is. But I am so sorry that you're going through this. Because you're sitting in this energy of sadness. In the present moment, the best advice I can give you is take the time that you need. But when you're ready, when you're ready to get up, when you're ready to fight the good fight again, right? When you're ready to get back to life, I'm getting strongly communicate with others. Reach out to the ones that you love because I'm certain that there are people around you that love you just as much as you love them. Reach out to them and if there aren't, reach out to somebody, build new relationships. Think positively. Transform yourself. Allow yourself to become a completely new thing. What have you learned from this experience? What are the lessons that you can take with you? What how, what are the things you learned from this person, this this loved one, that you can use to transform your life? Bathe is coming up pretty much a lot. So I'm getting like, you might need to do some cord cutting, some unbinding, some solar plexus healing. So if you're looking to do some sort of like vigil for this person, I would say go right ahead with that, with the through the looking glass, go right ahead and do so. But when you're ready, um, I'd advise you to cut that cord when you're ready. If you're never ready to do that, that is completely fine and up to you. If you want this constant connection with this, this person, this loved one, that is completely up to you. For those of you who wish to carry that person with them in their heart, with this heart magic here, but not necessarily in their energy field, I'd say some unbinding, some cord cutting would be um, advisable and some, um, you know, ritualistic bath of some sort and there I get also there are people who don't understand your sorrow and and I think that that it has a lot to do I'm getting ancestors um I'll get back to this card but I'm getting that there's some people around you who don't understand your grief especially in the case of a pet I really am getting that some people don't understand your grief. And their words are harsh with this fight fear here. It can be cruel from your perspective. Like they really just don't understand. And that's okay too. It, you know, but it, it is not okay. It's okay for them to have their opinions and their own feelings. But it is not okay for them to try to trivialize your feelings and try to trivialize what you're going through because we're all related, right? I I feel like I'm being called to say this with the garden and the ancestors here. Call out to your ancestors. They want to hear from you. And Creole, Haitian Creole, je te dis l'eau, So like, Get back to your roots with the garden. Strongly so. Um, for those of you experiencing some sort of death right now, I am offering a Halloween vigil. And please give me the names of the people that, or, or the loved ones that you want to just say thank you to and honor. There's no cost. There's no cost. 
There is no cost. I'm saying that again. There is no cost. If anybody feels called to donate, I'll put my information in the description box, but I am going to repeat it again and again. There is no cost. There is no cost. There is no cost. There is no cost. I have no problem doing this for you. Seriously. Wow. Collective. I would say also, remember the good times. Remember the great memories with this positive thinking here. Remember those great memories that you share and kind of hold on to those memories. So I'm getting... Um, for some of you who are experiencing the death of a loved one, could have been a um, Leo, um, Sagittarius, Aries, and Aquarius. A dog. I'm getting dog, bird as well I'm getting a very deep connection with this loved one I'm also getting a traumatic death a traumatic passing But know that this person is in a better place with this Ace of Cups here, a happy state of being. I mean, we all aspire to happiness, right? We all aspire to the best life. And life, death, rebirth, renewal, it's all a cycle. And this loved one is just still in that cycle so they're not far they haven't gone away it just feels that way right it just seems that way so you're worried if you can connect with this this person this loved one and with this ancestors here uh, you can you might get like scents you might still smell them or still feel them hear their laughter And I'm getting, like I said, a strong dog. Like someone just lost their dog. Very brave, very strong, very protective, very loving, very nurturing. Family pet. And when I say family, this could I'm 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 specifically seeing a man with his his dog. But the Queen of Wands here. I'm getting that this loved one really loved, you know, the summer days. I'm also getting like head trauma. Excuse me. The back of my head just started killing me. I'm getting like serious head trauma. For some of you. And if I had a message from your loved one It would be that with endings or new beginnings with this Ace of Cups. And that they are working for you on the other side. 
doing something to bring in some type of new fulfilling loving relationship into your life so there's no void especially with this queen of wands it's like this creative energy right so they're in this space in which they're creating this new life for you because they know that their absence is going to be hard for you to deal with so they're still very much in your energy field it's like they gravitated to you immediately like they haven't even really left your side like they're still there so they see you crying with this ace of cups they see you they hear you they feel you just as much as you feel them with this star card they feel you and they're saying that there's healing coming there's a, an offer of healing through relationships, building, creating new relationships, and that everything will be okay. Collective, I'm very grateful that I was able to channel this energy for you guys. If you are dealing with the passing of a loved one at this present moment, at this present time. My condolences, my heart goes out to you. Know that I am thinking of you and you are all in my prayers. Always, always, always. And I feel and I understand and I understand. Thank you for joining me today. And seriously, I'm sending you lots of love and lots of light and healing.